Hey YouTube, welcome back to our series uh, Design uh, Array Limiter. I guess this is uh, the fifth video or the sixth video. I don't know. I, I lost count actually. Um, um, basically, okay, let's start. Uh, today's video, we will talk about the. We are still into 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 talking about the algorithms and uh, of of how we will store the actual buckets. And today, today we will talk about the fixed window counter. And uh, <coughs> if you didn't watch the, the the previous video, I highly suggest that you should watch them. Uh, however, if you if you are confident with with your uh, with 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 everything that you are seeing here, I will just uh, make a quick uh, review so so you you can still watch this video. Basically, we are building here a design uh, remeter, and we 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 said that in system designs, each 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 question could be quite vague as like design uh, read limiter design. Um, uh, Instagram design Facebook and basically the interview interview will not give us any uh, specific details of about what he wants to uh, see to be designed so and our duty basically and our job as an interviewee is that to make sure that we are getting um, uh, clarifications uh, to understand the problems and know the requirements so basically and after that, we will propose a high-level design, and after that, we get a deep dive into design the actual uh, system, and after that, we make a wrap up. So, um, for for the first uh, for for the first step, basically, when we understand the pro uh, the, the the problem, that we will ask questions. Uh, I would say that you ask as much as you can, but don't ask too much because you only have forty-five minutes. So just make sure they ask from five to ten questions, not more than that, not less than that. So if less than five, I guess there is a lot of requirements that you will not be, you will not know that you should do or not. And second thing, it's way, it's very important. We don't assume anything in this type of interviews. We ask each time about clarification. So basically, first I'm ask, we ask, uh, we ask about what types of the, of the rate limiting we are talking about here. And it's API API focused. Okay, so we we, we want to know um, which would will the um, the lead limiter work to with IP address or user ID. So basically, we, we know which talk which which algorithm we'll use. The lead limiter should be flexible, so it, I guess it should be easy to implement. And um, what is the scale of the system? Are we talking about a distributed system? It's yes, we are talking about. So we'll put a, a scale into our um, our calculations. And our requirements should the limit response to the user that being blocked or like throttled? Uh, yes, basically we, we we expect that. And are the you are are there any pre performance or latency requirements? So basically we should have super low uh, uh, super uh, uh, the rate limiter should not make the HTTP request so slow so super low latency. So basically from these questions we got the requirements, the functional requirements and non-functional requirements. The functional requirements is that the rate limiter must be able to limit the rate of the request for a specific type of request. The rate limiter must respond to uh, the user when the, when the limit is uh, exceeded. And the rate limiter must be able to track the rate in real time. And uh, non-functional requirements, uh, the rate limiter should be high availability, the rate limiter should be uh, should have low latency, a uh, high fault tolerance. Basically, we, we don't want to see our our um, our uh, rate limiter when our rate limiter got any problem, does the server all the server will crash if uh, if the rate limiter got, got any problem, the 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 server continue uh, working. Use as little memory as possible because we don't wanna we don't wanna use all the memory for the rate limiter and a uh, distributed system and basically we, we we finished this one we went to to the second one which propose high level and basically we start uh, with the first equation is where should we put the rate limiter we had two choices we put it in the client side or we put it in the ap in the server side however if we we said that if we put it in the client side we will not be able to find it to basically to, to control it so it's a, a better solution to put it in the in the server side, and we have two solutions about server side. We could use it in the API gateway if we have a, um, a microservices architecture, and I guess this is the most common way in the scalable uh, uh, projects. However, if our own API servers uh, doesn't have the technologies and maybe doesn't have the requirements, 
uh, for that we can just implement the, uh, the rate limiter in, in, in the actual application and after that we talked about the, um, the, um, the which algorithms that we could use so basically we have five algorithms so we should know them on a high level and we went to details for each one of them because you should understand them and basically in the, in, in towards the, so into the interview you will not describe them as much as uh, as that but you just say uh, the pros and cons and that's it so basically we have the bucket token and the bucket token it just um, um, let's say that it's a, it's a, it w each request be, it requires one token so for, for this one we have three tokens so we, we can just pass only three requests and after a time after after amount of time maybe after one second the token will get referred again and in and uh, and uh, the, the the pros and cons of this one it was uh, the, the 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 it's it's a quite um it's easy to implement it's uh, it's it's memory efficient and basically it allows to process the traffic uh, for short periods of time the cons is that the two parameters uh, could make it quite um uh, hard to um it's it's a challenging we have, we have two parameters it, it, it put some challenging to us and after that we talked about something called um, a leaking bucket algorithm and physically the leaking bucket algorithm it's similar to the bucket token but instead of so we are using the queue so basically first in first out and um, uh, uh, physically in in, in um, when the request arrived this is basically uh, uh, the system uh, 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 the system checks if the queue is full if the if it's not full the request is added to the queue otherwise the request is uh, dropped um, requests are pulled basically from the queue and processed at uh, regular uh, uh, intervals basically it's uh, it's a process at fixed rate and um, and basically the the, the process that it's more efficient the requests are processed at fixed rate uh, therefore it is uh, suitable for uh, use cases that uh, are stable outflow rate is indeed the cons is that uh, the traffic could fills up with uh, fills up the queue with old requests that are not needed anymore. Um, basically, we have also two parameters that could make it quite hard to uh, just more challenging. And today, right now, we will talk about the this one. Uh, sorry, the the uh, the introduction for this one was quite vague, but just to to, to just make a, a small recap for everything. So basically, we have this one. The, the 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 fixing window and basically uh, the fixing window is the fixing uh, uh, the fixing uh, window counter it's uh, just that um, the algorithm divides the timeline into fixed size time uh, time window and assign a counter for each window basically like um, every request uh, uh, increments the counter by one so we have a counter for each time and um, and once the counter basically reach its 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 value um, the new requests are dropped. So basically, let's just take an example. Just uh, make I was white and I was I wanted to be and I wanted to be quite uh, not thick. Yeah, and uh, yeah, just make it yeah, like that. And uh, another one. make it like that and uh, okay let's just add uh, okay and I will say uh, maybe the time oh no, sorry 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 no 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 I want something to be pretty really small Mm -hmm. Okay. And let's assume that this is also and let's add another one. Okay. And let's add the last one. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. And uh, let's add here one, I guess. And let's see the um, one, two, three, four, five. So basically, um, 
let's say that uh, let's say that basically we have this it's the uh, we have times that this is the timeline and each timeline we will expect that we has three tokens okay so basically each timeline let's just um uh, put uh, the the uh, with uh, no 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 delete this one i don't want this one um Let's make it and I want to take copy and basically let's assume that for each uh, uh, timeline we, we, we had a counter so basically we had this one counter and basically we only accept the three requests okay so basically we accept here three requests and we only accept here three requests and if we got maybe more requests it's just this request is dropped so basically let's just make this one so basically this one is dropped so basically um uh, basically uh, the time until uh, like uh, like let's say this is uh, the second one the, the ones the first second the uh, the second second the third the fourth the fifth things like that so uh basically it's um um uh, basically also if we just we can do the same here let just copy this one oh no 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 No. no, the hell you can just do it like uh, I guess it's um, okay and uh, the same here also but let's assume that we only has the has two requests so mm, let's delete this one delete and delete this one and Let's copy it here also and just put it like that. And basically, this is how it works. Basically, it just um, for each for each time we have a counter, and we basically, when we just reach the counter, we don't accept any requests anymore. And basically, that's it. Uh, the, of course, the green one is accepted. The the, the red one is not the accepted ones. Mm -hmm. However we reach a big problem with this one the major problem that we're reaching with this algorithm that it's the first of the of the traffic basically at the at the edges for example let's just take um um an, uh, another uh, another uh, let, let, let's just take this example of 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 of, uh, of node 4 or node 5 so basically let's say that in here in node 4 in in in, in, in second in this first second okay we had uh one request okay and between the for the, the the four second and the first second we had uh, maybe uh, another request okay and i guess it will work and just a oh, minute just let just let me just put this here and so physically and uh, again we got uh, um, a third request and maybe in the in the in the maybe like in Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe uh, we make this one for each second so basically in maybe in the in in the in the in the, in the end of the second four okay and after that we had three requests directly in the beginning of of the fifth second so basically if you watch about like we have in one second about double uh, the the request physically the system allows a maximum of, of, of three here okay uh, per per second and the uh, or per minute basically and the available basically the available here is just like if if we looked at it just to be three but right now we have six because of that we we, we work per, per 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 minute and for this minute we got three and basically uh, and in in the first second of the of of, of the of, of the fifth uh, in the first second of the fifth minute we just got another three so basically we have six so basically um it's a big problem and we try to solve it uh, in the next video with um, with the sliding window uh, log algorithm and uh, basically uh, the pros and cons of this one it's uh, memory efficient easy to understand uh, and um, and uh, and the, the big cons and some big problem basically, which that you can't use it with because of the the spikes that can work that happens on the edges basically.
and um, yeah this is it for today's video tomorrow uh, not tomorrow next video i guess uh, i guess i will make the next video quite soon just in two hours or one hour uh, the next video will be we'll talk about the sliding window uh, log algorithm that uh, was working to make sure that this algorithm works as 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 best as best as possible basically so that's it for today's video and if you like this video make sure to thumbs up and uh, subscribe to this channel and see you in future videos